I'm an artist. I combine abstract watercolors, drawings, and botanicals into collages that appear dimensional. The studio is uh, about a fourth of our house, and in 1999 I designed it, and my husband and son built it. It took them about a year. And I, I wanted my studio to be on the north side because uh, uh, perhaps, as you can tell, uh, it has a really nice diffused light. I've uh, been an artist since 1968, and that was actually the first time I sold an oil painting. And I thought, okay, I guess I'm a professional artist, and I just I haven't uh, stopped since then. Although uh, the previous years, I was mostly an oil painter, although I've always done drawings as well. Well, first of all, I did do some collage work in the early 80s. It's a... a I guess a technique, you'd call it, that I've always really liked. I asked, and I just had this general sense that I wanted to approach art in a looser way. So when I had a studio again, everything was just new. I just, you know, decided I wanted to work on paper also and simplify my art materials. And just, you know, when I started in, I was you know, very loosely uh, painting with watercolors in a very abstract way. And, but because I have always loved to draw, I continued to do that and I just found that it was, it just was more fun to, I had a lot of materials that um, I'd been drawing and painting and uh, found it to be a really fun process to tear up, in some cases, paintings that um, I like just certain areas of it, and then just put them back together, and, and that's how it evolved. And the other element that I always incorporate are botanicals, and I think that influence came directly from the fact that I'm just surrounded by, by nature and somewhat fascinated by leaves and petals. So that's always, you know, something that I also add. The way I approach uh, making art is from, because I, I don't usually have an idea of what I want to paint or what I want to start with, but I have a meditation practice and I like to begin a piece just by tuning into the present moment. So I, I work from being inspired by the energy of the present moment actually. So, of course, that's, that's also seasonal. I mean, I was just thinking, you know, when I did these 12 over here, that it was, I think, late September or something, it was just starting to be less light and, and cooler and everything. And the colors that, you know, I was drawn to, when I looked at it after, I thought, oh, you know, those are pretty much autumnal colors. And, and I think it was because I, I'm just so prepped to just, uh, kind of drop into in the moment and and let it take me. Mm. Uh, I found myself doing um, multiples, like four of a kind, four on one theme. So they were similar and yet different. And there's uh, four of these imaginary maps, I think I'm calling them, there's places I'll remember all my life. And um, I think it's just satisfying a wanderlust that I have. <laughs> so I'd like to get out a little bit more. I'm I'm here working, you know, all the time, you know, full time, and it's really exciting. In my imagination, I get to go to these places. I made some walnut ink out of uh, this tree back here, and those I I was drawing outside on those on August. It was about a year ago. And, you know, they're just practice for me, practice making marks. But I have to see that they were mostly, I think, um, inspired by starlings. I call them the darling starlings because I love how they fly in those murmurations. It's my mission as an artist to share beauty and good feeling things, positive images. It's about the only way I can think of, you know, how I can make a difference with, you know, whatever talents I have been developing.